Nuggets postgame show. Nuggets get a dub. Let's try to go back and uh, check in. My boy Jeff Hale McGee talking to the media. Superstars. The fact that Nikola Jokic doesn't want to take a night off, like where does he compare? How does he compare? And what does that say about him? Um, he's a competitor. Uh, he's been playing great all season, and uh, he doesn't want to take that night off. He wants to keep playing and, and, and keep his rhythm until we get to the playoffs. So I totally understand, but I also understand from the coach's standpoint, uh, that's your best player on the floor. You don't want him to be tired in the playoffs, uh, especially in these last three games that don't really mean anything for us, at least. So um, it's definitely a, 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 a sort of a, a conundrum to be in. But, I mean, he's a great player. He's a competitor also, one of the best competitors I've been around. So um, I understand why he wants to continue to play. Esteban Abed. Hi, Javal. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, do you start to thinking about the postseason, how... How, uh, how the fans of Denver received uh, the team in the first game at home? In the first game at home? Yeah. Um, I mean, hopefully, hopefully we can have more fans than we usually do um, in the stands um, for the playoffs. Uh, and that's going to be amazing. Uh, Denver fans, I mean, I, I've, I've experienced Denver in the playoffs, meaning playing on Denver in the playoffs, and it's an amazing feeling. I mean, it was a long time ago. Probably the people who were, who were kids then or grown folks and I was what now, but uh, it's still amazing. And uh, and home court advantage is real in Denver with being 5,000 feet in the air. Ryan Blackburn. Javale, you've been on a lot of contenders before, and, and you've, you've had your experiences with championship contenders and locker rooms and things of that nature. In terms of culture, in terms of coming to this team in late March, what really stood out to you just uh, from that moment on and, and now? What Are there any particular experiences that have really stood out to you that, that have really elevated that culture in your mind that when people talk about Denver culture, what do they mean? Um, um, I, I mean, when I got here, I didn't know what to expect and uh, how it is behind the scenes. Uh, but once I got here, I realized that everybody's like Dan, from the weight coaches to the to the to the playing coaches to the training staff. Everybody's locked in when uh, when, when when we win or lose games after games. Uh, most of the players are, are, are lifting after the games. And this is before I got here. It's not like something I, I I've had to do or anything. They were been been doing this all season. So I see why the record is what it is and why um, we've been playing the way we've been playing and, and why we haven't actually a chance to to, to win it the whole thing this 